Hello friends, my name's Surreal O'Neill and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, it has been a while, but uh, yeah, we're getting back into it. So uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, we are going to use a different car for today. Uh, I've been using this Toyota Supra for like the last two episodes, so we're going to switch over to uh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse that we won in one of the last races. I think so yeah let's uh let's get into this let's do the race events and we will go and do a toll booth run I guess sure um hopefully we'll raise some money we might upgrade the eclipse or we might just buy a new car I'm not too sure either way uh yeah we won this in the last thing we did it was against a guy called Big Lou if I remember and this was uh his Mitsubishi Eclipse so yeah, uh, quick thing I just wanted to do is I do want to apologise if I sound all tired in this video. Um, I didn't sleep too well last night and I woke up this morning and I felt completely fine. And now I've just felt extremely tired for like the past three to four hours. I've tried drinking lots of coffee and it's not really helping. So yeah, I figured I'd just sort of deal with it. Maybe to play some Leaf Speed. Uh, play some Most Wanted because we haven't done that in a while and uh, now with Underground 2 officially being over uh, I figured you know we'd uh, finish off uh, the loose end let's plays and we'd uh, go to this one because this is uh, yeah a loose end let's play there's a police car we, I think we spent oh wait no I was about to say uh, I think we just got away with not being seen on that one but uh, nope we've been seen we've been spotted we've been spotted which is fair enough I mean so anyways, um, hopefully the audio is all okay on this one. Uh, I changed it from, um, well basically before I was using basically the same audio setup for every single video, which is keeping the Elgato thing at minus 30 on game audio, and my commentary is minus 2. And I've actually just balanced this out like I've balanced the Need for Speed Carbon Let's Play, which essentially means the actual game audio like master volume is a lot higher, but the... Um, I've actually gone through the in-game menus and adjusted, you know, car audio and some other bits and bobs slightly differently. So now um, you can actually hear the people in the cutscenes as well as you should be able to hear the car a bit more as well, which would be nice. This is Jesus Christ! Holy crap! <laughs> I think I just completely destroyed that copper. Oh well, he's uh, he's dead. Rip to you, sir. Uh, he's currently in a bin, apparently, because that's apparently a good place to park your police cruisers. We'll have to see if I uh, get as lucky as I do on uh, Need to Speed Carbon currently with the police, which is not very lucky at all. The good news with this, at least, is that... Yeah, I think I'm just going to turn my TV down a bit because you might be able to hear the voices through there. Um, yeah, I might balance the voices somewhat because the cop volume is quite loud. Like, their speaking is loud. So, I might... Mm, actually, let's just go into the options menu quickly. And I will just peek the speech thing down just a little bit. Uh, oh, bollocks. That's not good. That's not good. I really shouldn't have done that. Uh, I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Sure. Uh, oh, bollocks. I was trying to, like, set the controller up so I could, like, itch my eyebrow. Because <laughs> it was getting itchy. Oh, well, apparently we're almost done. So, hopefully I can reach the next toll booth before the timer runs out. Uh, yeah, I should be able to. I think it's, yeah, it's just down the road here, so... That's not a big issue. Uh, there we go, you speed breaker to stop us going into some mental, mental slidey action. And across the line. There we go, excellent. Right, oh, we're still in a pursuit. Right, what do we need to do? Get the cost of state up. Uh, something about evasion time, I see there. We've got to do five minutes. Uh, we, I think we've got to do the milestones, haven't we? So we may as well try and keep this pursuit up for a bit. Uh, hopefully we've actually won some money so we can spend some money on upgrading the vehicle. Uh, and 10,000 bounty, which is going to be... I should probably use the Supra for uh, the pursuits. And just because the Supra... 
has more heat on it. It's uh, much more of a hot uh, pursuit vehicle. So maybe I should use that for the police things, but I may as well do some other challenges here while we're on a slightly easier thing. I apologise for my driving, it's bloody atrocious. Let's go through the gas stations. Are they more effective than they are on carbon? The answer is nope. They're still completely bloody useless. Excellent. Anyways. Uh, um, what's that? Four ah, oh, that's Roblox. Okay, so yeah, we could do with actually just swap swapping cars, getting in the super briefly, just to get into some police trouble. I might do that actually. Lose these guys and uh, do that. If I can lose these guys, that is of course. Uh, no guarantees on that one. I know what I'm like when it comes to losing coppers. I lose them. <laughs> I keep. Oh god, actually, I remember. Yeah, uh, some of the. It's off. Actually, no, there you go, that's my excuse, I was doing the uh, cost to sake challenge. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, as you might know from uh, the Need to be Carbon things, and actually from, indeed, this let's play if you've been watching it that long. Um, props to you if you've been watching this from the start, and you've been wondering where the hell it's been for the past three months. Uh, but anyways, uh, you may be wondering, you may be like, um, you know, well, what, what am I even on about? Right, I know what I'm on about. Uh, why are they just pulling off? I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're on heat level 2 on this car now, so we may as well continue this pursuit. By continue this pursuit, I do mean continue this pursuit, and hopefully... See what I mean? As soon as I actually want the cops to stay after me because I'm a heat level 2 now, it's like, no, nope, we're all just gonna go away and hide for a bit. But, uh, yeah. Um, I remember on this Let's Play I had to like start a pursuit about five times and each and every time I start the pursuit I'd just end up like deading a cop that's supposed to be chasing after me. And I also remember uh, in Carbon the fact that I can't lose police in Carbon ever despite the fact that police in Carbon are as useless as chocolate tea pops. There we go, excellent. We finally got someone after us. Go on, chase me, chase me. And we're waiting for backup, that's excellent. Hopefully we'll see some... Uh, you can knock wheels off them, apparently. I don't know what it is with parked cars. I don't know why they use different models to the uh, standard civilian vehicles, but they do. Anyways, uh, there's only one cop car in this pursuit, so I guess we've got to uh, wait to see if any roadblocks come up. I don't even know. Don't lose me, because otherwise I'm going to have to like wait up constantly and get the backup timer to stay in the same place next time. If I can finish all the pursuits... Actually, no, I need more bounty, don't I? I was going to say, if I could finish all the pursuit milestones, that'd be quite cool, but, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that by the looks of it. Uh, right, what do I need to do? I need to get bounty up. And the, the only way I can get bounty up is by disabling the police cars, which I can't disable because there's only one on me at the moment. Mind you, I know what they're like, what will just spawn down the road, so I may as well just take this guy out. I don't know why I'm getting my cost to stay up, it doesn't really matter anymore. Is because I'm an awful driver, of course. Right, anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know what that cop was doing when it comes to that. There we go. Big donut can take him out. Excellent. And see what I mean? There's uh, another cop that will just spawn. Despite the fact that apparently there's only one police car available at the moment. This, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's just get rid of him. <laughs> let's just ram the uh, pizza delivery guy on what the hell it is out of the way. Now we gotta wait for this car to stay on us. Do 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 do. Come on, backup timer. Come on, backup police mobiles. <laughs> please come. Um, so I think I can only get to like heat level three at the moment, which is probably. Good. Oh no! Don't evade now. Don't evade now, because otherwise I have to wait for the backup timer to load all the way back up again. Right. There we go, excellent, there's now 10 cars in this pursuit, let's go and run into this thing to... I completely just crushed the... the is it learner driver or pizza delivery driver? It is somewhere. Um, yay, look, there's the bus station. I think everyone who's played Need for Speed Most Wanted knows about the damn bus station. Ooh, bounty's done. Okay. So now, if I can actually just get this pursuit time done... Uh, I just remembered, there's like speed cameras in this game, isn't there? Um, no, please don't lose me. I need the pursuit time to stay up for reasons. I just wanted to ram that car because I want to see the fantastic amount of uh, modelling that goes on on it. The, the damage on the uh, those little like traffic cars that just sort of sit in parking lots is actually quite uh, remarkable. 
Right, there's one roadblock. Anyways, uh, and apparently we killed the car somehow. I don't know. And there's another police cruiser. Apparently there's eight of them. So we've disabled two of their uh, backup bits. And there's the pursuit time challenge. Excellent. Right, let's just keep going. I don't know what all these barrels keep doing on this bridge. I s never remember there being like barrels on this bridge. I always remember like this bridge being open. I don't know if it's supposed to like resemble roadworks or something. But I've never. Ooh, I forgot. Oh yeah, you can. Uh... Did I get him to drop his load? I don't really know. Oh god, they're all laughing at me. Right, you. You can't drop anything, but if you stop dead, you might stop a police car dead. Right, anyways. You go around in circle. Oh, wait. I, I killed him, apparently. Um, so I think on this game, it actually does police correctly. As soon as they go over on... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we took another car out, apparently. As soon as they go on their roof, I think it actually, like, just disables them. While as in carbon, you actually have to, like, smack them for them to disable, which is a little bit hard. Take out the logs on the back of that truck. See if that still works in this game. I'm not sure if it does. I think Carbon's the only one where the um, like make your own pursuit breaker thing actually works, where you just like ram the logs off the truck and it takes out police cars. Let's see. Uh, answer yes, but I just screwed myself. And now apparently this car won't move. There we go. Excellent. Right, if you could just put another roadblock in front of me, that would be great. If you don't, then that's fair enough. I'll just evade you. Um, and I don't think I'm going to get another roadblock to show up, so yeah. Um, that's great. We will just simply get the Pursuit Breaker on this guy and lose him then, I guess, because I've got no real reason to keep him about if he's... What's he doing? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Finally! The gas station's actually killed something. Right, now let's try not to run into any of the policemen. And that's a policeman over there, but he didn't notice me, that's fine. Break into there, go this way. It's apparently a cop car on the adjacent road it's telling me about, which is just peachy. Been going for 13 minutes and... Ooh. That, I was about to say, that's risky if I'm gonna go for, like, a... Uh, the speed thing and trying to do that at the same time as losing the police, that would be a bit odd. Right, let's just back ourselves into here. There we go, excellent. Alright, whatever, I don't care about that. Okay, right. Oh, we've almost got enough bounty. Wow, we've almost done all the pursuit stuff in like the first 13 minutes, that's pretty cool. Right, uh, we need to still do some milestones, but I'll just do the speed cameras for those. Yeah, and I'll do those in a bit, I guess. Right, where to next? Toll booth run. We could do another toll booth run. Sprint race, speed trap race. Uh, let's do a sprint race. Now it's got maximum cops on it as well. So, by the looks of it, 8,000, 8,000, 8,000. That's 24,000 bounty. So I don't think I'm going to ha actually have, like, enough to... Uh, to actually just like not have enough suit. So basically, if I did all those speed trap races, I still don't think I'd have enough bounty. I'd be a little bit short. So if I actually get into another police chase and just quickly uh, rack up some more bounty, uh, I should be all right on that front. Apparently, this is the Eclipse GTV6. I do have to say, the uh, second gen Eclipse is actually a really, really cool car. I really like it. No, not the Renault Clio. Um, <laughs> Uh, for those of you who've been watching my Need Speed Carbon playthrough, you'll know uh, I, I like the Clio V6. Apparently a Porsche in a body kit there. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd just quickly discuss uh, how most want it's going to work, hopefully, provided I actually record enough of it. Uh, essentially, now that Underground 2 is done, what we're going to be doing is this game is going to be on the channel about twice a week. Uh, twice to three times a week, it really depends. I think for the moment I'm just going to try and focus a bit more on uh, Need for Speed Carbon because those episodes are a lot shorter, uh, well as the episodes for uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. If you've never seen my Most Wanted Let's Play uh, and you're wondering why this video is so damn long, then uh, essentially what we do is we, uh, you know, I don't space out these episodes, we literally just take out the Blacklist Racer in these videos 
So, for example, with Barham, who's the guy we're going after with a Porsche Cayman, I think he's got. Yeah, we're uh, defeating him, like, now, in just one long episode. So, this will be about. Um, how long will this be? I think it's about 40 ish minutes, most of these episodes will be. Uh, and then, as we go into more intricate blacklist races, uh, they'll probably be more like an hour to an uh, hour and a half, maybe. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the way we're doing it. Um, it's actually something I thought of doing. Yeah, you know, I like, let's just make this like a 16 episode Let's Play. Uh, let's restart this race because uh, we are being left behind for whatever reason. There we go, excellent. Right, go, go, go. I really needed to upgrade this car, that's what I forgot to do. Uh, that might explain uh, some things. A few things, a lot of things. Also, yeah, I don't know why there's a Porsche 911 uh, battling with a Renault Clio and a Mazda RX-8, but there is, so yeah. Um, screw consistency. Oh my god, there's a pickup truck in the road, there's a Porsche 911 in my way, it's one of the most hideous Porsche 911s I've ever seen as well, it's got like one of the worst body kits and it's got them silly dual roof scoops. I absolutely cannot stand roof scoops. Um, like, I don't mind having them on some cars in these games because, you know, the thing for me in these NFS games nowadays is I'm just sort of here to embrace the silliness of the wide bodies. Like, most of the times uh, back in the day, you know, I might put like a little body kit on a car or just not even bother with body kit. But nowadays it's like, you know, let's just embrace the silliness, you know. There's not many games where you put wide bodies on a Porsche 911 Turbo, so, uh, you know, let's put wide bodies on Porsche 911 Turbos, because why not? So yeah, that's sort of the way I play these games, and it also makes the cars a bit more interesting for uh, you guys to look at. Although I'm sure quite a few of you hate me for uh, various things I do, i.e. Underground 2, uh, and I haven't had any negative... What the hell? Uh, I know there's... <laughs> it's like there's a copper there, I know. I bashed into the back of him and he's not interested in me. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to have to do some upgrading to this car. I thought this was going to be a nice, easy episode where nothing bad goes wrong. Sure. Uh, where nothing goes wrong. But uh, no, apparently it's just going to be me getting mauled by police officers that don't know what they're doing. I don't know why the tier 1 cars are out either. I, I have no idea on that one. Yeah. I assume it's just a carbon system of they just chase after whatever they see first. Which is a good system, to be fair, because it actually... Like, um, some other games <coughs> need to be rivals. Um, you know, it feels like the cops sort of go after the player and sort of the player only, well as, or actually there's quite a few other games that do that, uh, GTA as well. Uh, and just various things like that. It just feels like the cops are just programmed to just go after the player and that's all they're programmed to do. Oh, there we go, we've finally been seen by someone. Anyways, um, it feels like they've just been programmed to just chase the player and that's it. Well, as in this, it, you know, they've chased whatever they're sort of after, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, uh, if we lose this race, we lose this race. I'm not too fussed uh, because we'll just use it to get another pursuit going. Uh, Jesus, that cop car's decided to go for a jump with me. That might be the thumbnail, actually. I'm going to start making thumbnails for these as well, believe it or not. Um... Yeah, the first few episodes had like thumbnails. That was me making those thumbnails, and they look awful, so I refuse to use them again. Uh, the last two episodes have not had thumbnails at all, uh, and I can't make any thumbnails for them really anymore. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna make thumbnails for these, like we made the carbon thumbnails, which, in case you're wondering. Oh god, the way I actually do that is I just basically scroll through the Elgato footage and just find like. I don't know, like a cinematic camera shot, or, you know, a pull-up to a race or something, I'll just use that. Just whatever doesn't have a hood in it, I'll just end up using that. Uh, we are going to lose this race by quite a lot by the looks of it. Yep, we've lost this race, which is just peachy. Uh, let's just quit to free roam. Because I can't be asked to look at the, you know, you you failed, you suck, uh, thing, so yeah, we won't do that. Alright, onwards. Um. 
to, uh, I don't know, getting some bounty. Uh, there's 500 on us at the moment. How much do we need then? 24,000 we got. Uh, so I just need to take out a few of these police vehicles, really. Which isn't too hard. Uh, I'll actually run them through these uh, pursuit breakers in the trailer park. I actually really love these pursuit breakers. These are actually probably the best ones in the game. Um, because they just take out the cops. What the hell? Okay. Uh, just frame rate died. Yeah, these ones are really good for taking out the coppers. Uh, as you can see, right there, it's uh, taking out lots of them. I've got 5,000 bounty. Excellent. Okay. Um, then we have a safe house down here. We do have a safe house down here, but unfortunately I've now got a Pontiac GTO on my ass. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> he's... Oh, Jesus. I was about to take the mick out of the fact that he smashed into a uh, cement mixer, but I also smashed into a cement mixer because I am stupid. Right, other than my driving, my commentary doesn't seem to be going completely to hell, which is... No, why do they put them there? Such a stupid place to put them. Right, there we go. Fuel station. Someone explode. Be hurt by that. No one was hurt by that. Oh, one guy. Uh, maybe two. I'm not sure. We've got like 16,500 bounty now. Um, one thing that I have explained before with this series is... The good news is that, um, like, any bounty we get is good. You know, it doesn't necessarily matter that we've... Oh god, right, I've got to loop round and come back round, and I'm going to try and sneak into my safe house. Because uh, I think that's the best place to go. But anyways, um, as I've sort of explained before, uh, you know, the more bounty we can amass now, the less we have to do later on for uh, various blacklist races. So, you know, it doesn't really matter about getting into these pursuits too much, because we'd have to get into them anyway. Uh, let's just see if we can crawl over to here. In we go, excellent, right. Hopefully, that should be enough bounty to suffice how much we got. That's the question. 495,450. Excellent. We might not... Well, we are going to... I didn't mean to do that. Um, we are going to, you know, go through the speed cameras and everything, because I may as well do that uh, as well. But hey, right, let's go to the part shop. Let's go and buy us some performance bits for this car, because Lord knows it needs it. Right, let's just smash the boat off the thing. That guy must have to, like, rebuild that boat every single day. Why are they... <sighs> I literally... All I did was crash into a boat, and apparently I'm already, you know, in trouble with the police. Excellent. Right, let's sneak into the part shop. Okay, how much money do we have? Oh, we got a back room. What's the back room got in it? Parts. Oh, it's got rims in it. I don't really care about those. Uh, we'll spend them on a car we actually like. Right. Um, okay, so it has the pro costs a lot, so we won't have that. Uh, nitrous is pro. Jesus, all the parts on this game are really expensive. Uh, damn, I was going to say. I forgot. So this car is actually quite well upgraded anyway. So, yeah, it's... It, I think that's just a sign this car kind of sucks, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, it's 14 grand, suspension, doesn't really need upgrading, tyres, can we do anything with those? Nope. And we can't do anything with the turbo. Alright, so we'll just do that, I guess, because um, there's nothing else really we can do. Let's go to the paint and get some paint. Uh, what sort of paint do I want to go with? I kind of want to go with the chrome, but let's not. Let's go with that because it looks kind of cool. And it drops our heat level, actually, apparently, which is also good. What window tint's in this? Uh, pearl gold. I, d I don't want pearl gold. Uh, let's go with aqua because why not? And yeah, that'll do. Is there anything we can do to this? Right, I don't want to change the body kit because the body kit looks badass. Spoiler actually looks pretty cool as well. Actually, to be fair, everything on this car is pretty sick. So, yeah, we'll just go with that. Um, okay, great. Right, let's see what we've got to do next. We're 25 minutes in and I've managed to do one race and one race only. <laughs> 
Oh, this series is still going as good as I remember it going. Right, uh, let's not do a sprint race because apparently I lose those. Let's do another toll booth run because I can actually apparently win those even if I kind of suck. So, yeah, we'll do that. What's this? Oh, yeah, this bike this race has got a uh, Porsche Cayman, hasn't he? Uh, we might use the Cayman. It's probably more usable than this uh, bloody Eclipse we've got. So, uh, yeah, it might be a wise idea to uh, switch over to the uh, Porsche Cayman. Uh, if I remember rightly, though, the next race has got an Evo. So, uh, I would quite like the Evo. So, yeah, um, I really want to use an Evo. So, yeah, we'll have an Evo. That kind of makes sense, you know, in the... Uh, Oh, actually, no, I won't ruin that because I don't know when this is coming out and I've sort of recorded. Basically, uh, I'm quite far ahead when it comes to my recordings, i.e. Carbon is... Um, let's just say I've got Carbon videos going into March, uh, which is very, very good for me. And, yeah, uh, I'm actually recording this on uh, Valentine's Day, believe it or not. So that's 14th of February, and you should be seeing this on the 24th. Food, I believe. So, yeah, uh, it's uh, very, very pre-recorded, should we say. Um, but that's the way I like it. I want to be like a week ahead of schedule, or try and stay like about a week ahead of schedule, because uh, that seems to really work, and it means that if I happen to, you know, miss a day of recording or skip a day or something like that, I can just sort of stay... Well, you can basically still have videos, if that makes any sense to you, which it, it, it did when I was saying that in my head, but for some reason I've managed to botcher it because my speech is atrocious. Uh. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go for a quick nap before the next episode. I'll probably record a few episodes this tonight because uh, I can't fancy doing it, and if I can be like seriously ahead of schedule on this as well, That'd be pretty cool. Uh, phone's buzzing. I assume that means that the Need to Be Carbon episode that I'm currently uploading uh, is done. Uh, my phone's on vibrate. That's true. That's an interesting thing. Um, <laughs> usually I don't end up having my phone on vibrate for these. And I think it's because um, I've actually, for some reason, my phone, whenever I take it off vibrate and try to turn it up uh, manually, it doesn't work, I have to like go and like hold the button down while I'm not listening to music or anything. So, yeah. Um, I, I assume it, that was a good thing. I, I should have had my phone on vibrate and hopefully it is. So that's good. Um, around this last corner. Apparently this car's really good handling according to the stats. It, it isn't. Uh, the Supra is probably superior. Okay, so uh, someone's followed me on Twitter, and I've got free Instagram things, which I don't care about, so. I do actually have an Instagram for uh, this uh, YouTube thing, um, if you want to follow it. I can't remember it. What is it? It's like the real Emil something. Um, I think it's like the real Emil dash YT, something like that. Uh, I don't really recommend following it because I've only put like one picture of it on ever and that was just for uh, display picture purposes. They look like Porsche 911 back and there's an RX-7. I kind of like an RX-7 actually. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm kind of on the fence about just buying a car instead of using all the ones that we nick from the blacklist races. I mean obviously I, I want to use the Evo so uh, I think I'm gonna maybe hold off until oh god we're losing um, until I've got the Evo I'm being overtaken by a Golf GTI a Golf GTI is officially quicker than a Mitsubishi Eclipse GT V6 which apparently has all the upgrades on it if I remember rightly this is actually like one of the worst uh, blacklist oh wait we're ahead yay uh, provided I don't do that because if I god Right, the thing I've figured out with this car is it's really, it's okay as long as you stay ahead of the competition. As soon as you, like, fall back, it just buggers you. Don't crash into those because they're going slower than you are. It's actually quite decent in a straight line. I mean, 156 miles an hour is pretty quick, so that's good. Uh, 
what isn't so good is if they get ahead, uh, it starts a ticking down counter. Um, so yeah, <laughs> my idea for this is just stay ahead, and even if I do get a worse speed than one of those, then I can just sort of uh, get across the finish line and win. But luckily, it didn't really matter because I'm across the finish line and won. Hey, listen up. People are talking. Now I know this ain't true, but they're saying you're working for the cops. Make sure you prove them wrong. I'll take care of the guy spreading the rumor. Okay. <laughs> I hope by take care of him, you mean kill him. I mean, I'm not a bad person, but you know, I'm not working for the cops. I don't think I am anyway. No, that's Need for Speed o Undercover. Overcover. Sure. <laughs> Welcome to Need for Speed Overcover. Sick. Best game in the world. Right. Let's do some of these while I figure out what the bloody hell I'm supposed to do with this car. We might go back and... I don't really want to use the Supra, but I might have to for the purposes of actually trying to win a race. Um, yeah, uh, we might have to go back to using Supra because apparently Supra is best. And I'm through that, excellent. So this is how we prove I'm not a cop, we just get lots of speeding tickets. Although that does mean that all of his milestones are done, but we may as well finish the rest of these anyway. Oh, Lamborghini Merch Largo. I would quite like a Lamborghini... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, do I want a Lamborghini Merch Largo in this game or in Need for Speed Carbon? Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyways. Uh, let's go through the speed trap, speed trap, speed trap. Let's go through the speed trap, speed trap. There we go, excellent. So, this car is good in a straight line. It's pretty decent-ish in the corners. So why the bloody hell is every single AI car quicker? I think I've heard uh, from a few other YouTubers who I've seen play this game. They always say uh, the later events are much easier than like sort of these events. Like these events are ridiculously hard, apparently compared to you know like the later events in the game where you're completely against the uh, other blacklist racers. So yeah, I think uh, this is definitely proving that true. Speaking of which, though, we're through here at a ridiculously crushing speed. I think I was only supposed to do like 130 through there, and I did 163. Right, is that it for all the speeding bits? I can't see because there's that in the way. Answer, yes. Excellent. Right, back to racing. How many race events did I do? I've done three. Okay, so we need to do two more. Uh, let's try sprint racing again. I don't really want to do that one which has got like maximum cop thing because I'll just end up getting into another police chase but at the same time I really don't want to do a circuit. Oh god there's an Aston Martin DB9. <laughs> okay so this Mitsubishi Eclipse is supposed to compete with that Aston Martin. Oh let's prefer in carbon you know yeah. Okay, the Aston Martin's in the lead, as I did. Oh, there's an Evo as well, and a Pontiac GTO, and I'm apparently supposed to compete. Apparently, these guys aren't blacklist racers. If he's racing at this level, and he's got an Aston Martin DB9, he probably should be on the blacklist, uh, because his car is much quicker than anyone else's. I can base... Oh, actually. Hmm. Aston Martin DB9 or a Porsche Cayman, which one's faster? Well, in this game, it's obviously the Aston, because uh, I think, like, the back... The Aston Martin in this game is actually, like, a ridiculously good car. I think it's, like, uh, number three on the blacklist, has a um, Majiggy, uh, uh, Aston Martin. Try and sort of speed break our way past the uh, Pontiac. But, yeah, uh, here's an Aztec ball. Anyways... Jesus, I really want to win this event. I don't want to piss about trying to get the Supra because it's the Supra. The Supra's boring. Yes. And you can piss off as well, mate. In your Pontiac. Why are you taking out all bloody well lampposts? Why is it with this car? Why is it so slow? It shouldn't. It's not slow. Right, if I'm kicking the crap out of your speed trap things, like uh, those speeding ticket, whatever. Why is speed braking just wearing off as well? I could have done with it through that corner. Is it... Maybe I need to upgrade the transmission. Or maybe I just need to... 
hope there's not an invisible wall there and just cut across all these guys. Aston Martin's still in the lead. Uh, apparently one of... How did another one of them go down there? I don't know. Evo and Aston Martin are having a good race, but I am apparently going to lose because, yay, I love this game. It's bollocks. Right. For those of you who've been wondering why there hasn't been an episode in that, it's because this game just pisses me off. <laughs> like, oh, God. The funny thing is, right, everyone says how great a game this is, right? But for some reason, and I don't know why this is, but I, in, from back from playing it back in the PS2 era, it seems really bloody well difficult nowadays. I don't remember this game being nearly this difficult, like ever. And so I don't understand why, why are you doing that? I don't understand why, uh, well, I don't understand why an Aston Martin's brake checking me. But I just don't understand why this game is apparently like so bloody well hard. It makes no sense. I mean, Carbon's a cakewalk compared to this bollocks. Right, let's, let's, look, Speed Breaker just wears off randomly. Why does it do that? It doesn't do that in Carbon. And this game runs the same engine as Carbon. I mean, Carbon and this are basically the same game. Um, Carbon's just set at night and looks marginally prettier and has a much better storyline. But we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think this Let's Play has affirmed something that I felt for a little while back in uh, back in the day. Uh, this game, it needs to be Carbon, is a much better game than uh, most wanted is. It, it just is. I'm sorry. Uh, that being said, I'm very thankful. Don't you dare just wear off. There we go. Let's just press it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of thankful that I've got this game uh, back for Let's Playing, but at the same time, it's like, ah, uh, it's just silly. Let's go to this side because apparently more speed. Right, let's get ahead of the Aston. Stay ahead of the Aston, hopefully. Uh, unless he does, like, like, one last minute overtake is trying to. There we go. Uh, and across the line. Excellent. Thank Christ for that. Ugh. Right. Final race. And then we can take on this bloody barren twat. And probably not get his car. So I have to go through it all over again. Uh, I'm not doing a lap. I don't want to do a circuit race. Look how long that is. Mind you, that's longer. How long's that? That's six point. F that's the uh, circuit race. Uh, <laughs> I can't be asked to deal with the cops if they decide to show up on that race. Uh, well, this is going to be like an hour-long video. This is going to be fun to upload. To be fair, I don't usually have, like. I used to have a big issue with uh, uploading videos. Nowadays, I don't just because um, if it's, I just usually end up uploading these while I'm recording another episode, so I don't really notice it. So yeah, that's usually what happens. Go away in your Mazda RX-7 with your silly wing on it. To be fair, that looks nowhere near as bad as most cars do. It's a free lap. Oh, yeah. I hope... By the way, I hope 7 Mile refers to the length of the actual... Uh, it's, it must do, because the lap knockouts are like apparently 9 miles, even though they're on short circuits. In case you're wondering, the reason I didn't do a lap knockout is because I thought that would be free laps. Oh, because it has to be, because there's free opponents. Well, as I thought, this would be nicer because it would only be two laps. But no, it's three laps because yay, circuit races. <sighs> right, let's cut across the car park. Hopefully, the um, guy I'm racing against in the end of this episode likes sprint races. That that would be nice. In fact, if you like just drag races, that would be even better. Although I don't, I, I'm fairly actually no. You might drag race one blacklist race. Oh no. Well, rip. Um. Yeah, I'm fairly certain you only drag... You might drag race a blacklist racer at some point. I I remember that being a thing, but I'm not too sure. If it is, it's one of the later ones, or one of the Middle East ones. I think it's like uh, Jade or Kamikaze or something like that. And apparently everyone's overtaking me because, yeah, that's a Mitsubishi Eclipse. All right, yeah, it's three laps. I was about to, you know, start freaking, but no, it's three laps. It's fine. Um, 
Yeah, apparently your Mixbishi is faster than my Mixbishi. Is it because I've got the wing on it? Is, is that what it is? I mean, I know you can do tuning on this game, so maybe that's something I might want to look at. Either way, this uh, this car's getting thrown away next episode. I can pretty much guarantee you that. I'm, I'll go look at new cars in the car lot and see if there's anything nice. Uh, I don't really want to use... Well, actually, I might use the Porsche because... Porsche. Porsche is easy mode, and it will make it easy. But from... Actually, if I remember rightly, like, this Black Lace... Black, black Lace Racer... Black List Racer that we're about to go against is actually quite good, but the next one, Earl, is actually relatively easy. You know, he's got a pretty decent car, but his actual, like, racing and his driving kind of sucks, so, yeah. Hopefully that's not a placebo, hopefully that's something that's, like, actually a thing. Go past the Eclipse, bully the Eclipse into the parking lot, which is something I didn't want to do because it's a shortcut. I wish you could just jump down there like you can normally. Uh, I hate taking these corners. Because I end up rolling my car all the time because I roll my car a lot. Alright, clown. Stop clowning around. <laughs> Come back here. I think that's the Mazda. Which apparently has just disappeared. Completely. Uh, I so thought I was going to roll it then. I was going to get pissed off. But no, it's, I think that's the Mazda ahead of us. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of thankful for three laps now because I have one lap, final lap to chase him down. Although that being said, we're 42 minutes into this, right? I did all the pursuit stuff in about 10 minutes, so I don't know how the bloody hell I'm still going through the races. Um, there we go, apparently we've got some burst of speed, we can get past the Mazda. Okay, now we'll pass the Mazda, uh, that's good. So, we hopefully are going to go on to victory now, because I can't be arsed to fool around with this anymore. <laughs> I just want to get to the blacklist guy, and then we can get done, and then I can get another car for the lot. <sighs> we, yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're going to have to use the Cayman for uh, the next episode, just because I can't use this. It, it's awful. <laughs> you know... Oh, but, you know, when I say this car's awful, I don't actually mean it's awful. It looks very cool, and it's actually, you know, when we're driving about, it seems great. But for whatever reason in these races, it's crap. Uh, I don't know, maybe I need someone with uh, rear-wheel drive. Uh, I, like I said, I just don't want to use the Supra again. I don't want to, like, overuse the Supra, because you'll get bored of seeing it and I can get bored of driving it. So that's why I wanted to go with the Eclipse today. I was looking at the stats just before I started recording this and uh, you know, the Eclipse actually seemed like it wouldn't be too bad uh, compared to the Super, but apparently it's awful. Apparently this guy's gonna go for a last minute overtake, which if he completes it, I will just rage quit this Let's Play forever and ever and ever and ever. Luckily he's smashed into a wall and I'm across the line, yay. Whoop whoop. Okay. Alright, let's just check something. Gameplay, autosave is off. Excellent. Uh, yeah, um, in case you're new to this series, if you are, then hi, I don't know. Yeah, I assume you think you've wasted 44 minutes of your life, and you're probably right. But yeah, um, in case you're wondering how these work, essentially I have to win the car. So uh, I, what I'll do... So, there you go, drag race. Although that might be an issue with this car. Do you know what? I'm going to swap to the Supra just for this race. Just because that seems like the mod... I mean, yeah. The Supra is marginally better. Apparently it's not mm, on handling, but need for speed and handling don't really go together. Anyway, I'll shut up while this guy's intro plays out.
Okay, we are back. Uh, hopefully, uh, because I will actually remember to do it. Um, I should have cut out those last two attempts. I've basically just been screwed over on this race twice now, so I'll probably just cut that out. Uh, yeah, anyway, I knew one of the Blacklist racers actually had drag racing. I knew that was something you could do. Yeah, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, basically what had happened is that on the last time I did this race, uh, I, apparently Baron won right at the end, he went down, because it ends in Camden Beach and it's the bloody shortcut I had issues with on that race with the Aston Martin where they go down one lane and apparently it's slightly quicker uh, and he overtook me down that lane so there was nothing I could do and then the other time he ended up mounting me just before the finish line and my car did flip so yeah. Anyways we can take this shortcut down here which is good, very good actually. Alright, speed. So I apologise if there's any sort of inconsistencies during this episode now. It's just I don't want to make you sit through that because it was just torturous. So I, I'll save you that. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, the um, driving the Supra again, it makes the Eclipse feel so awful. <laughs> um, like, the Supra feels so much lighter than the Eclipse. Um, as far as handling goes, it feels, well, it actually drives better than the Eclipse did, so whoever invents the handling stats for these Need for Speed games is, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what you're think what you're talking about. I was saying though, the Eclipse, um, I remember it in real life having some issues when it came to speed. From what I heard from people, it wasn't as fast as it probably should have been. And as well as that, I'm fairly certain it might have had a little bit of a weight issue from what I can gather. And actually kind of, you know, coming back to this car, which is light to drive and rear wheel drive, and, you know, so on and so forth. This feels uh, a lot lighter than that car did. Like, the Eclipse just feels heavy, so yeah. Anyway, there's some weird text to pop up in if you looked in the rear view mirror there. Um, <laughs> I've been making fun of that every single time I've gone past that one bit of the track. See what I mean? See what I mean? Y you see what I mean now, don't you? Get onto the final 80% of the track, and then that happens because, of course, it does! I was just saying a minute ago, this is one of those games where it's like you get all nostalgic about, but it wants you to hate it. It wants you to hate it so bad. Please, me, 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 win, win. Yes! <laughs> I don't care how cheaty that was. I win. I win. Suck a dick. Right, there we go. Drag race. Let's go. I've been recording for 54 minutes. Is 54 minutes longer than I've needed to. Alright, anyway. Drag race. Do I remember how these work? Do I remember what the gear shift button is? Right. I need to remember what the gear shift button is on this game. It's X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. It's because it's different on Carbon because I changed the control scheme and I don't use a manual on both Carbon and Most Wanted just because um, they're games that have a lot going... What the... Why is that there? Why? Ah. Anyways, yeah, uh, I don't use manual on either of these games just because there's a lot going on at once so it's a bit, you know, to remember to change gear all the time as well is very... Um, I can't do it because my brain can't keep up because I'm slow minded so yeah uh, that's sort of why I don't run manual on uh, Need to Be Most Wanted uh, come on win there we go excellent thank Christ for that right if I don't win the car I am not going to be very happy defeated excellent Congratulations, you get to select two markers and achievable, yay. Alright, my guess is it's this one. Or it's not. Or it's this one. Or it's not. Okay, um, anyways, I've had the worst look in the entire world during this episode. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed Need for Speed Most Wanted. I'm gonna go and drink some bleach now, if you don't mind. That's that's something I'm gonna go do, so yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed, anyway, um, because this is the last video I'll ever produce on this game. I'm just joking, I'll be back with the next blacklist in a bit. So yeah, anyways, thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil, until next time, farewell.